Hi, this episode of Kamiwaza is just going to demonstrate the last uh, of the Tier 1 missions. And I'm just skipping through to the actual theft, not the uh, pick up the mission, wander over, all that. Uh, this one's to recover a, a spear from the shrine. I can get most of the way there uh, by walking around the outside. Uh, the inside is the only spot that's uh, dangerous to be caught in. You can see it turned red when I jumped over the rail. <laughs> For the most part here, I'm just trying to do these missions as efficiently as possible. Get through the tier 1 missions and on to other stuff. I picked up a uh, another a license from the shop. And that one gives me a bonus to my stamina if I complete missions without using items. That's relatively easy for me to do, so I'm following up with that. Now this mission is a very st simple, probably the easiest set type of mission in the game. It's just to recover a lost wallet, which is sitting right there. And I could do a couple things with it, technically. Uh, I'm not allowed to pick it up, obviously. Well, I can't pick it up while he's standing there, but it won't do me a lot of good. So what I'm going to do is put on my mask, so he won't be able to identify me even if I do get caught. I'm just going to sneak right up close to him, do a dodge, and... A hyper collect. So I'm safe and I'm and I'm clear. Now I could go turn this into a few different people, but I'm gonna take it to the poor box just for the reputation boost. I haven't been collecting cool points uh, in this outing just because I'm trying to get through things quickly, earn up some cash. We're down to the docks for this mission. There's a guard hanging out right there. Oh, they still want that doofy looking guy. But that's the item I need to collect. And you see the little red circle that says I'm making noise. I almost got caught doing something bad there. But that's enough. Okay, now this mission is to run down a, a competing thief and take all of his stuff. This one can actually be kind of tricky if you don't do it immediately right, because the thief moves just as fast as you, and so if he slips away from you, it tends to become a big chase in front of all the guards and townspeople. Just double checking to make sure I've got the exact position of him before I do this. There's my target. Now, what I'm going to try to do is put on the mask so I'll go into the catch mode and slam him with a super grab right there. Another one. That's it. He doesn't even know he's been hit. The mask is off, and I can just walk my way out of this one. Now, there's technically one more Tier 1 mission after the ones in this video. Uh, the reason I'm not showing it off is because it, it's actually a bit more complicated, so I'm probably going to do a, a full mission playthrough with that one. the mask off, the bag that small, nobody even notices me. Okay, we're into the merchant district where I have to go rob one of the big houses. And in this case I have to collect some rice from them. 
And since I'm collecting rice, obviously I'm going to give that to the poor. There's a few different ways that I can approach the entrance to this house. But I think I'm just going to go in the front door. In between uh, all the stuff I've cut, I went over, I gave my daughter some more medicine. the house. Uh, by wearing the blue scarf rather than the one I had on before that kind of matched the bindle, uh, the original one uh, was a balanced approach. This one gives me more stealth at the cost of strength. This hole in the wall is an alternative way in and out if you've bought an appropriate skill up. I can just crawl right through the hole in the wall by holding down L1 or excuse me, R1 We'll go in through the bath here or maybe not That guy in the front is often drunk. Okay, there's the rice I have to steal. Yeah, they can hear me doing this, but nobody's coming in. I'm just going to jump right back out to the street. Mask is off and I am just a humbler pet, humble peddler again. I'm going to drop that rice off for these good people and you can see my reputation go way up. If I can get my reputation to 80, there's a huge benefit in it for me, uh, and uh, actually a bit of a cheat if I do it well. 78 is close. I may show that off soon. I'm going to go back to the house, save, and end this video.